Hey everybody, I am going to try and connect this to Facebook again. So I don't know if you can hear me talking right now. Um, I know there is a slight delay between Zoom and Facebook. So I'm just gonna keep talking until I see <laughs> that Facebook has caught up. Um, I hope your day is going fabulous because uh, today in New Jersey, it is looking pretty good out there. Um, okay, so it looks like I am live on Facebook. So today I'm gonna just talk to you about your weight is never the problem. So it's not about losing weight, which you've probably heard me mention before. Your weight is never the problem. It's about what you think about you and what you think about your weight. So how do you feel living in the body that you currently have? If it's not a great feeling, why is that? Because there are women out there who are 250 pounds or more and they love their body. And there are women out there who are 102 pounds and hate their body. So your weight is never the problem. And there are such high expectations for how you should look. And these expectations are what other people think about how you should look, right? Have you ever flipped through a magazine? That is somebody else's impression of what is an ideal look. But have you ever asked yourself, how do you want to look? Like, what do you really want to look like? Better yet, how do you want to feel in your body? For me, I like the feeling of feeling light, oh, sorry about that, light and agile, flexible, strong, and everyone is so incredibly different in what goes on inside their minds. So this is why I love doing the mindset piece work with my clients. Yes, we work on fitness. You get a workout when you work with me, like a whole detailed plan that's customized for you. Yes, we talk about nutrition and I don't really dive that much actually into like, we, you don't get a meal plan, you don't get a diet, nothing like that. What I have found is that nutrition and food is more about your mindset than it is about the actual food. So how you look at yourself really is everything. If you think your stomach is too big, why is that? Did someone tell you when you were younger that a bigger stomach was not acceptable? Did your doctor tell you to decrease your stomach so you can be healthier? Believe it or not, you can be heavier and still be healthy as far as like blood panels and doctor's work and stuff like that. So what does being healthy mean to you? Answer that question, but I want you to answer that question without all the diet noise that you've read that's all in your brain, all the, the massive amount of information that's available on the internet that may or may not be true. Erase all that. Start with a clean slate answer the question, what does it mean to be healthy for you? I was doing some self-coaching myself this morning and um, what I'm finding out in my own brain is, is like, it's time. It's time to change the images of how you think you should look. It's time for you to make a decision on how you wanna feel living in your body not about whether you weigh 110 pounds, 120 pounds, 150 pounds, it doesn't matter. It's all about how you want to feel inside your body. So how is the next decade of your life going to be? Is it going to be sitting on the couch watching your grandkids play because it exhausts you too much to get up off the couch and play with them? Is it holding off on all those travel plans that you want to make, but you're just not sure that you can do all the walking and all the, the touring around the countries? Are you nervous that if you sit in a plane, you're not going to be able to buckle that seatbelt as easily as you could? These are real things that could happen, but they also could not happen, right? It depends on what direction you want to go on in your life. A lot of these skills that I talk about, I teach with my clients. You can listen to my podcast, Shape It Up Over 40. I give tons of mindset skills, tons of fitness ideas, all that. And ultimately it comes down to the skills that I teach my clients. 
is going to give you the life that you want to live. You get to create the life that you want to live. You get to shape the body that you want to live in. And it all starts with the way you're thinking and feeling, which is essentially your mindset. You can do all the workouts, you can do all the diets. And if you've done them multiple times, then you know it doesn't always work. It doesn't last. You have to start with how you're feeling, how you're thinking, that whole mindset piece. So I want to invite you to learn these tools for yourself. So you can start using them now, not 10 years from now. Start using them like this second in your life. Start shaping your body into the way you want it to be. Learn to master your mind and watch how your life changes. So there are still spots open for my small group program, Master Your Mind to Change Your Body. We do start this coming week, July 26. And if you're interested, enroll at shapeitupfitness.com slash small group, all smushed together. I'll leave the link in the post and also in the comments as well. Do this for you. Do this for the life that you want to live. All right. I will talk to you soon.